Is Arch Linux stable or is it not? This is a question I got a thousand times over the last few years. And my answer always is yes and no. So you will say this makes no sense. Why yes and why no? So I will answer why I think yes is right and no is right in a minute welcome to joe loves linux if you also love linux this channel is right for you and the best way to show that is to subscribe and to like the video but now let's go deeper most users think stable means that the system does not crash but Debian has another definition of stable. Debian says stable is that we have a fixed release that is stable and nothing will change over the next two and a half years. That means you will not get any updates for applications or the operating system or the desktop environment. You only get patches, security updates, and something like that. Yes, you get updates for Firefox and Internet browsers uh, because it would not be possible to guarantee security if you don't have the newest version of an Internet browser. But this is the exception. You will not get the newest LibreOffice or the newest GIMP or the newest uh, Krita or something like that. And also not the newest version of a desktop environment like GNOME or Plasma. So this is what Debian thinks is stable. And this is not the same than the user who thinks stable is if an operating system does not crash. This is different. So it depends on the definition. If you follow Debian's de definition, Arch Linux is not stable because you get updates every day. The system changes. All the applications are updated on a daily basis. Uh, you will not have the same LibreOffice after a year of usage. This is different to Debian. After a year, uh, you will have the same LibreOffice. And this is the definition of Debian, what stable means. So with that definition, Arch Linux is not stable. Let's go uh, to the other question. Is Arch Linux stable or does it crash very often? So I have been using Arch Linux as a daily driver for almost one and a half years. As you know, now I use Debian for personal reasons. My experience with Arch Linux is Arch Linux itself does not crash very often. Arch Linux. There might be a few problems once or twice a year when something changes in uh, the package management, for example. So if you are not aware of that, you might get into troubles. Uh, but if you go to the Arch Linux website, they always tell you um, what to expect and what uh, problems you could have and how to fix it. If you use Arch Linux, you always should go to the website and check what problems uh, might come up. Uh, if you do that, Arch Linux is stable in a way. So what uh, could make problems is not Arch Linux itself. It's one or it's one of the applications. So imagine you always 
will get the newest KDE Plasma. So as you know, the developer team of KDE is working constantly and there are constant updates. So chance is high that there might be some bugs in the newest Plasma. Don't get me wrong, this must not be the case, but the chance is high. It's higher than if you use the same Plasma over two and a half years, like in Debian. So you have a certain risk with your desktop environment. And if you use LibreOffice, GIMP, Krita, OBS, you always have the risk with the newest version that some problem might come up. But this has nothing to do with Arch Linux because the problem is within KDE Plasma or within GIMP or within LibreOffice, not Arch Linux. If you use the AUR, you have another risk because it's not official. This is not Arch Linux. The applications you get from AUR are not implemented in Arch Linux. You implement them. So it's your risk. If somebody uses Arch Linux without AUR, the risk is not so high as if somebody uses it with AUR. But it depends also what you use from the AUR. I was using XFCE as a desktop environment. Why? Because in XFCE, nothing changes even in rolling distros over years. It's always the same. It's different to KDE Plasma or GNOME or Budgie or something like that. Uh, XFC is very conservative. Uh, there are minimal changes. And so the risk is not so high as if you use KDE Plasma. And I was uh, very happy with XFC. I think this is the reason if you ask a uh, Arch Linux user what desktop environment he uses, it's very often XFCE. And more often it's a window manager or Openbox or something like that. Because Openbox never changes. It's you who changes um, a window manager or, or something like that. The risk also, it's not very high. If you use Openbox or, uh, or Tiling Window Manager, uh, Arch Linux will be more stable. But if you use GIMP and there is a bug in the newest GIMP, you will have problems with GIMP. So it depends on the applications you use, if Arch Linux is stable or not. And so the problem is, people always say, Arch, uh, Arch Linux is, is crap. Uh, it always crashes. This could be true for the user who has this experience because he uses Arch Linux in a way that Arch Linux crashes. Another user say, well, I have been using Arch Linux for 10 years and it never crashed. Yes, this is also true. So the question, is Arch Linux stable? Is yes for one user and no for the other user. And both are right. And if you ask Debian, they say uh, Arch Linux and any other rolling uh, release is not stable. That's the same with Tumbleweed. Uh, Arch Linux is only an example. Uh, Tumbleweed is the same. It's also rolling release and you can run into, into the same problems as in Arch Linux or you don't. I would be so happy uh, if I see 1000 subscribers in the next time. Uh, this is great because I'm not a native speaker. I, I come from Germany and uh, th this is not so easy for me to 
to handle a channel like this. I have my German channel about Linux and this is much easier for me to talk uh, in my uh, mother language. But in English language, it's very uh, hard for me and I, I, I do my best. But I hope you like it. Give me a thumb. That's good for the YouTube algorithm. And comment, what do you think? Is Arch Linux stable or not? Curious to read what you think. Bye-bye.